on the Vape with Thesis, I am Nas. Real quick, today we've got The Passage by Hell Vape and Suck by Mod, an absolutely beautiful collaborative RDA between the two. With that said, fuck the small talk, let's go and get up close and personal with The Passage by Hell Vape. <clears throat> My ninjas, I'm super excited about this passage by Hell Vape and Suck My Mod. Now real quick, before we delve into it, I want to give a big shout out to my homegirl Tina. She actually picked these bad boys up for the channel. Just for bumming around the studio as Addy Sands, I want to give a big shout out to the maker, the bearded viking on Instagram. Big shout out to you homeboy, you fucking killed it. These things are absolutely gorgeous. Now with that said, let's go and pop this out of the box. Give her a little bit of fistula, make sure she comes out smooth. Now I'm not sure who designed what on this particular RDA, uh, but I do know that it's a collaboration between the two and it sounds like he had, or it sounds like Hell Vape had something similar in terms of design that Matt had, so they kind of just put their heads together and made it even better, which I like the idea of that. This is a beautiful gold. Big shout out to Matt for doing that shit. It looks absolutely stunning. I'm gonna go and pop this on the skeleton head or the skull head, and we'll go and see what's inside of this box. O-rings, extra A10 drip tip, and then of course a 510 adapter, hex driver or Allen key, and then of course a flathead, which I'm assuming the other 510 pin is gonna be a flathead, and same with the grub screws right there at the bottom. So just by eyeballing it, I'm not entirely sure what everything is for, or what all the uses are for, um, or the idea idea behind it, but I'm actually really excited to check out these different channels, seeing how I can adjust the airflow on that bad boy. So this is going to be your standard 24 millimeter RDA. I love the way that it looks. I think the design is absolutely beautiful. Single O-ring design, which I do appreciate, especially on these uh, adjustable airflow rings like this, mostly because it's a lot easier to adjust when it's dry. The only problem is once they get lubed up, they tend to be a little bit more slippery than usual. I think the idea of this is that the airflow is going to come in through the top and still be able to generate some airflow towards the mid range, basically right where the coils are at. Now I'm assuming that these uh, grub screws are going to grab those top portions. Yes or no? Let's see. Nope, they are not connected. They are floating. I wonder if I could build on top or the bottom. That shouldn't be an issue. Huh. Two different heights you could achieve with that. Sexy as fuck. That's super interesting. I wonder, yeah, I wonder if it's intended to be on the bottom or the top of that. I'm super curious about that. That's dope as fuck. So you could actually stagger them like this. So you got these two pins coming outside of the block and that way it's going to keep it aligned. It's a super cool way to make a deck. Especially if I have a leg down here, a leg up here and vice versa on the other side. And or to have your legs completely flat and even, you could have them coming at the bottom or coming up at the top. That right there is such a cool idea. I love when it's separated like that as well. It keeps the deck looking super clean. My homeboy ran the Patreon page. We end up by giving so many of his coils away specifically for this reason. This is some of the coils he comes up with. Him, my boy 907 Vape Life, Breeze Tones, all these guys have the patience for these coils that I could never make. I wonder if these motherfuckers would fit on the passage. Good. God, these coils are huge. I'm gonna have to save those for something special. Now, just to address this block situation, since these are not coming off at the same level, you can see that they're two different heights on the top and the back leg, and of course, coming at the bottom with this front leg. Since they are staggered, I'm gonna actually use this the way it was intended and go one at the top and one through the bottom like this. Let's go and cut these down to about four millimeters. Now, just to be sure to see what size these coils are, they are gonna probably come out to be three or so. Yeah, so it's a little loose on the three, so I'm just gonna go ahead and stretch them out just a hair to three and a half. Now I'm gonna go ahead and slide this bottom leg into the bottom and then the top into the top, pretty intuitive. Now that I've got the coils set in perfectly, you wanna make sure that these legs are not loose. You don't wanna cause any type of shorts. Now the next thing that I wanna say you gotta check on is of course the distance between the coils and the actual interior of the wall. You just wanna be certain that there's absolutely no touching. Now today I'm gonna to be using the Gearbox mod, definitely not one of my favorite devices out there, but I'm gonna be reviewing it pretty soon so I figured I'd give it a couple of shots. So let's go ahead and see here. 0.08, that doesn't seem right. 0.09, I wonder if we have a short somewhere. So I just unscrewed these grubs real quick and I just made sure that these legs were all tight and now that I did so, 0.13 seems a lot closer to what it should be. Perfect. As I'm tucking this cotton into the bottom of the juice well, I'm realizing how deep it actually is. I don't have the exact number in front of me, but I'm gonna assume this thing's roughly around four millimeters, five millimeters deep. 25 millimeters at its widest point though, now that I'm looking at this. Let's go and grab us some juice and give it a shot. Today I'm gonna be dripping Open Road by the Sauce LA. They are not a sponsor of the channel, but I am in love with this liquid. This shit is fucking super sweet. God, I love when there's nothing in the middle of these posts to get in the way. It's just that perfect gap that sits right between the coils, soaks up with the liquid. Let's go and replace that top cap. Get those airflow holes directly lined up with the coils. Make sure it snaps in place. Perfect. Let's go and try it first wide open. Oh my God, bitches. Okay, so now real quick, I, this is that's the first hit I've ever taken off this RDA. I am thus far with one hit impressed beyond belief. Now look, I, this one is going to take a little bit, so by the time I get back to regular view, I'd have had a few hours with this, and that way I can give you guys my full-blown opinion. Much more restricted. I would actually say that might be a better vape with the 510. All right, so we got that single airflow, that single section on either side. Let's give it a shot. 
that is an extremely restricted vape with that single airflow slot open. Let's go ahead and do all three one more again, just so we can get an idea. Now that I'm hitting it, I can give you a better idea. This is way more restricted than I was actually expecting, especially with the dual coil setup that we've got inside of here and with that deck you're able to fit some ginormous diameter coils so with that in mind i'm actually really surprised at how restricted this wide open airflow is if these baffles were not in the way i bet you this would be a lot more airy than it is but with that being the case this is an extremely flavorful rda i'm really impressed i can't wait to actually give it a few more hours just to see how it vapes throughout the day bitch it's okay some other truck is now with that being said let's go and get back to regular view son mm. My final summation is this. The passage by Hellvape and Matt is beyond impressive. I can't believe that I'm getting a restrictive airflow to taste this good. Now granted, restrictive airflow to me is different than what it is to you, what it is to anybody else. So for me personally, this is a restrictive airflow coming with a dual coil. This has actually altered my opinion on what airflow could be for a dual coil setup. So for me, I'm beyond impressed. This is a flavor banger through and through. At the same time, the amount of vapor that I'm achieving is pretty solid. Of course, this is not for cloud chasers and that's not what it promises to be. I genuinely feel like I know exactly Exactly how Matt likes to vape and that's what I like when I get these collaborative devices I like to have an idea of what the person who designed it likes and that's exactly what I'm getting Let's go and take another couple puffs mm. Again, not a cloud system per se, but you are generating giant amounts of flavor and vapor production with that. So a couple of the key features on this thing that I think is super unique and innovative is that AG, was it AG or AF or some shit? Let me see. Yeah, AG. Whatever that material is that they're using, I forget the name of it, but it's supposed to be antimicrobial. The fact that that even exists is absolutely key in our industry, especially if we're trying to do things like make the systems as healthy as possible or as harm reductive as possible. And that's something to me that is important, especially if you go to these conventions. If you've ever been to NVE or ECC or anything like that people are taking hits off of each other's rdas rtas tanks of juice constantly that is one of the most disgusting fucking things you can do you're putting your mouth where other people put their mouth on a regular basis i do it and at the time i don't think of it, anything of it but of course on the flight home i'm always sick same situation every year this is definitely an RDA where I just keep wanting to use it. It's not something I want to put down. It's giving me the amount of flavor that I want with the density of vapor that I want. I love the knurlings on the top. I love the way that it looks. That gold is absolutely perfect. That's one of the best hues of gold I've seen in the industry. With that said, a couple of the downsides with it. If you don't like a restricted airflow, this isn't going to be for you. This RDA will be sitting up in my collection. Hands down, no questions asked. Mm. Okay, some other liquors. Now, what this is patented figure of capability scale in terms of flavor, this is going to be a nine. There's no argument there. Like to me, the flavor is spot on, perfect, exactly what it should be in terms of buildability. Solid nine. Would I personally purchase this? Absolutely. That's not even a question. I would purchase this RDA in gold and in black, both of which I absolutely love. Especially the drip tip with that ring in the bottom. I love the way that that's set up. Let me go ahead and pop this out and show you guys. Look at that. That gold flake that's inside there with that ring cannot be beat. That's one of my favorite looks. Ever. Bitch, it's okay, smother truckers. Now, with that being said, I want to tell y'all that I appreciate y'all for vaping with Thesis. It is your boy Thesis. I'm out. Mm.